Give thanks to God, call on his name, to men his deeds make known. Sing ye to him, sing psalms, proclaim his wondrous works, each one. See that ye in his holy name to glory do accord, and let the heart of every one rejoice that seeks the Lord. The Lord Almighty and his strength with steadfast heart seek ye. His blessed and his gracious face seek ye continually. Think on the works that he hath done, which admiration breed. His wonders and the judgment soul, which from his mouth proceed. O ye that are of Abram's race, his servant well approved, and ye that Jacob's children are, whom he chose for his own. Because he, and he only, is the mighty Lord our God, and his most righteous judgments are in all the earth abroad. His covenant he remembered hath, that it may ever stand. Two thousand generations the word he did command. Which covenant he firmly made with faithful Abraham, and unto Isaac by his oath he did renew the same. And unto Jacob for a law he made it firm and sure, a covenant to Israel which ever should endure. He said, I'll give Canaan's land for heritage to you. While they were strangers there, and few in number, very few. While yet they went from land to land without a sure abode, and while through sundry kingdoms they did wander far abroad, Yet, notwithstanding, suffered he no man to do them wrong. Yea, for their sakes he did reprove kings who were great and strong. Thus did he say, Touch ye not those that mine anointed be, nor do the prophets any harm that do pertain to me. 
He called for famine on the land. He brake the staff of bread. But yet he sent a man before, by whom they should be fed. In Joseph, whom unnaturally sell for a slave did they, whose feet with fetters they did hurt, and he in irons lay. Until the time that his word came to give him liberty, the word and purpose of the Lord did him in prison try. Then sent the king, and did command that he enlarged should be. He that the people's ruler was, did send to set him free. A lord to rule his family, he raised him as most fit. To him of all that he possessed, he did the charge commit. That he might at his pleasure bind the princes of the land, and he might teach his senators wisdom to understand. The people then of Israel down into Egypt came, and Jacob also sojourned within the land of Ham. And he did greatly by his power increase his people there, and stronger than their enemies they by his blessing were. Their heart he turned to envy, his folk maliciously. With those that his own servants were to deal in subtlety.